what is up guys it's me again uh revamp on the channel going in new directions trying to get this more out there we changed our name and we gave ourselves a motto uh the new name is quad envisions because uh, I guess the inspiration would be that I really want to envision people into everything and the definition of envision if you google it is to like I guess subliminally teach something and that's what I'm trying to do with you guys I'm just trying to you know plain English everybody can understand show you how to get into this and dig into all the details of quads and you know clear up any information that some channels may go on in the mumbo jumbo and limbo of you know professionals or people that have more experience but if you're just getting into this and you're gonna start off being as lost as I ended up I don't think that's a such a pleasant experience so I'm going to try to help you guys out and basically I'll just use my quad as an example uh, until I get suggestions of mods or anything you know just drop it down in the comments and we'll try to get that video out um right now I did when I purchased this I heard a lot about the issues with the VTX overheating and batteries and stuff so I just ran across this on banggood.com and big up to Banggood for being so pleasant. Um, I had a whole lot of interactions with people that had bad experiences and nothing good to say about Banggood and their customer support. But uh, I don't know if you guys know yet, but I have been grounded now for about four days. And contact with Banggood has been nothing but pleasant. Uh, the warranty, they're upping on it and they're sending me a new FC flight controller on the F4 that brings stock on the 220S and they're sending me the B heli the ESC the 4 in 1 because I had a ball of solder just loose ball of solder like say you know you're soldering a piece and maybe you got a ball that drops out and you don't catch it and then you just leave it in the board I had a ball of solder loose between those two boards and I guess it short circuited something and I had damage but Banggood you know you just send the usual they, they ask you for a video explaining the situation and a couple of pictures you they'll get in contact with you they'll ask again and yeah super nice man we'll, we'll be getting that I guess within the next month because it does take some time for the shipping but during, like I said, I'll be doing some modifications and things that I have on the way. But this are one of the first things that I ordered because of the overheating issues that I heard. And I just, again, just had the tiny little idea before even seeing how it could work. Uh, these are little radiator grills that you see on, you know, everything. And, yeah, they, they come pretty cheap. I bought a pack of five I believe five little packs I got a whole bunch for about four dollars I believe and it comes with one big one let me show you this one one big one and two small ones now the big one I'm you know cooling the VTX the big one, I don't believe I'll be able to fit more than one, and I'll be leaving a lot of space on blank. Let me pull one out to show you. And here it is. Let's zoom in on that. Okay. Uh, that looks fine. I guess it'll work. It'll do its job. Uh, you know, it is better than factory. But I'm thinking I could maybe get more coverage if I place four small ones which I believe gets me a, a little bit more area uh, let's try
try to line that up to show you. And it's okay, so it's a little bit more, and I'm going with that choice right there. And I am debating whether to leave them in line to you know airflow and whatever, but considering that you have propellers you know going around and the wind not really coming in from the top that much because you do have your battery and your camera you know right there so I don't think airflow is really that important so I'm going with the personal choice just for looks of maybe crisscrossing these because I think it looks a little bit more fancy And I believe that is what I'll be doing. So, you know, these are just peel and stick, and they do have the uh, PC adhes adhesive on it. Just a little film, and it'll just stick right in, I guess. Uh, let's test it out to see how it goes. Just a little bit of pressure, and they do stick on there pretty good. It feels like it'll hold. So let's do the next one. And you know what? We're just going to jump through this, and I'll show you guys to finish to save on time. Okay, so that took about maybe three minutes, and just to show you, um, that the adhesive is pretty good it's been three minutes on there and I can completely lift up the quad just by holding on to them they feel pretty stuck on there I don't think I'll have issues with that falling off and causing more short circuits and you know, I'm, I'm guessing it'll help with the performance of the VTX you know, not having it as hot and maybe that will give more stability because it does when this thing gets hot it does drop the milliwatts it operates on uh, automatically if you have one of these VTX's as I have on the Ishing Wizard so I'm guessing that will keep me at uh, I believe it's 800 milliwatts or 600 for more time giving me more range which is always a plus um, anyways that, that that's it for today um, you know go ahead and, and leave a like if this is something that you would try um, or if you even consider it necessary or unnecessary if you think it will cause more problems leave it down in the comments you know any suggestions but for now this is pretty good and I have absolutely no clearance issues. It just sits right on top. Okay, man. You guys have a good one, and leave any questions in the comments. Bye.